This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Everybody, this is Alex, and this is, of course, the Ramble. We go until midnight tonight. And let me see here. Let me give you my picture. There we go. There I am. See me? See me? See me? How beautiful am I? I I had to set reset up my uh, my key here. The key is the thing that cuts into the picture that allows me to use this here green screen. In a minute, I'll show you. See that's. That's the green screen to put my background. And for the last couple of days, I've had to reset it and get it all picked, fixed up and so on. But I don't have to now. Welcome to the program. Welcome to our nightly foray into frustration about why the hell do we even do this in the first place. We do it because, well, we care. We care. Hold on a second. I got to do something here. And oh boy. So if it's always something else right yeah it's always something else um there we go i'm uh, i'm having to set up my browser i am set it up because i uh, wanted to well that, you don't need to know how the uh, how this works okay hold on just a second while i uh, uh uh set something up here so that it goes okay and i can start my uh, uh my thing so i can see myself okay good now we're fine Okay, hello everybody. How are you? Really professional show, isn't it? Oh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm 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 a little. Oh boy, I don't know. I to those people who are, to those people who are watching me. On oh, I see. I know what it is. I know what the problem is. Hold on a second. Uh, it, all of this, there, there we go. I bet I'm going to be smoother now. I'm looking at my picture and I'm trying to see if I'm smooth. Oh, now I'm smooth. Okay, it was because I completely rebooted my browser and it was cutting down. All, oh, forget it. I can't even explain any of this anymore and I don't need to. Uh, but I have to talk myself through it in order to make it work. Okay, anyway. Uh, I, uh, Phil is waiting to come on here, so I just better bring him in before he gets all pissy with me um uh, let me see here let me let me uh bring him in there he is hi there phil hey how, how happy cinco de mayo yeah give me a little more volume on your end okay well wait a minute it might be okay yeah i don't know i don't know We're, we'll try and figure all right it out. how's that testing one two yeah that's good that's good let me also put your your name in here so that people know who you are okay oh. So, right. so when they tune into the program, they don't go, who's that ugly fat guy there? Yeah, Jewish fat guy. Jewish fat, fat guy. It's even worse. Yeah. Fat. Well, do you have uh, Mexican food today? Wear a sombrero? Uh, I, well, you know, I suddenly, I suddenly realized the Cinco de Mayo has been upstaged. Uh, by what? Slap a comedian day? No, no. By May the 4th be with you. Oh, oh well. I May the 4th. Uh, Star, Star Wars, Wars day. Yeah. yeah, it's a more important day to me than Cinco de Mayo because it's Cinco de Mayo. Everybody just goes out and gets drunk. Well, May the Fourth be with you was so yesterday, you know. Cinco de Mayo, de Mayo is to Mayo, to Mayo, to Mayo. Yeah, <laughs> tomato, to Mayo. Yeah, and uh, potato. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how, how you doing today? I, you know, you want me to ask how you're doing before we get into I'm the nitty tired. gritty? I'm tired. I'm tired today. Been yeah. tired all day. Just yeah, I don't know why. Just tired. I didn't get out of the house much. I gotta go. I gotta do something. I gotta find something to do with my life. You know, well, that was the great part about having a, a job. You know, that every day you were you had to go in and do something. You know. Can you go back to the gym? I don't want to go back to the gym. You still you? paying fifteen bucks? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah, but you I. Know that Hmm? If you quit the gym, you could get another online service for 15 bucks a month. Online service for what? 
a TV or you know some some. Oh, that you had something more to make me lie in bed. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) We, I subscribe to almost everyone there is. I think the only one I don't subscribe to is Peacock because it sucks. Yeah, well, I, you know, I'm thinking about uh, doing what you did, which is paying, the, what, $15 a month for uh, YouTube non-commercial. Uh, the commercials are getting longer. It's, it's getting a, more no, it's eleven ninety five. Uh, really? Okay, because mm. maybe out here it's 15 bucks. Yeah, I, I, I like it without the commercials. It just makes life easier. Plus, you also get some movies with that, too, but I've never tried those. Well, uh, okay. you know, I... Um, uh, I... Uh, the, I uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, no, I, I watched Nobody again yesterday, and it's still a good movie. It's a good movie. You know? Yeah, we're rewatching yeah. The Godfather tonight. Really? Yeah, we were watching. Which it. one? First, The Godfather. Oh, okay. There's only one Godfather. Yeah, well, was, there was several sequels. The other one's The Godfather Part Two. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, you know. Yeah, uh, but uh, this was The Godfather, the original. Yeah, the one with all the great lines in it. Like my favorite line, a couple of favorite lines in it, really. But the the best one is um, uh, "Leave the gun, take the cannolis." All right, I like that. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, there's these mimes, memes going around on YouTube, and one of them is uh, there are mimes going around on YouTube. Yeah, memes, memes. Uh, one of them, uh, yeah, you. Yeah, where's the where's the glass? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, there's there's one with uh, famous lines that everybody will know what movie it's from. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I said, um, uh, what was that line from? Uh, 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 Put the coffee down. Coffee's for closers. That's uh, what do you call it? Uh, the uh, the thing about the realtors. Um, uh, uh, yeah, selling land. That's uh, Glen Gary. Glen, Glen Ross. Ross. Yeah, and I never ever saw the movie, and I know that line. Really, it, it's one of yeah. my favorite movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it, it takes a few watchings, kind of the way Pope Fic- Pulp Fiction did. It it took uh, it took a couple of watchings before I really uh, figured it out and uh, saw the, you know, how good it was. Have you ever watched a movie enough times that you realize how bad it is? Um, <laughs> no, no, but, uh, you know, I was, when... when like, for uh, instance, somebody... I, I give you an example. The Godfather, which I love. I love The Godfather. Who doesn't love The Godfather, right? And I'm watching that series on how it was made, and it's just, it's a great series. The Offer? It, it's a great show. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, I'm, I, but I, we watched the original Godfather tonight, and I got to tell you, uh, what's her name? Um, Keaton. Alia Shire? No, it? Keaton. Diane oh, oh, Keaton. Yeah. Horrible actress in that film. Just horrible. Wow. Especially when she gives that big speech about, all oh, this must end, you know, Michael. And it, it, she's just, she's terrible. Yeah. You know, it's been so long since I watched The Godfather that I, I, I couldn't tell you... Uh, uh, what the deal was. I knew there was a horse head in, in, in a bed mm-hmm. and uh, somebody sleeps with the fishes mm-hmm. and uh, you know uh, and but that's about it I, I guess is it worth watching again? I, oh I guess yeah it it's a great movie. It's a great movie but I mean except for Diane Keaton oh. you know and that, that was a bad casting decision <laughs> you know I mean I could have found Kind of better Gentile actresses than that. She speak know. with uh, Mario Puzo. Is that who? No, no, no. Mario Puzo was married. Okay. Well, that didn't stop us. <laughs> yeah, but that's because we're low lifes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know. So. Well, uh, let's see what, what's what's going on. Uh, the I got aced out today. Uh, I put a bid in for a townhouse, and uh, it, they were supposed to choose somebody. And I guess nobody bid as much as they wanted. Mm-hmm. So then they uh, counter offered, and they said, you know, bid again. So I raised it a few thousand dollars, and um, I didn't get it because the other person that was bidding against me mm-hmm. uh, put in an all cash offer 14 day close so and so if the place didn't appraise it didn't matter 
they were, they had an all cash offer. So uh, what's I an all cash out. offer that you're actually going to take the cash out of your pocket and hand it yeah, to them? Yeah, you write a check and uh, so you, 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 yeah, but you're looking to get a loan, right? To do this, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, a shaky loan at that. I mean, I qualify for much more than uh, what I'm trying to buy. Uh, it's just that, um, yeah, I'm getting uh, I'm getting a loan. I was just going to put well, down. You know 10%. something? I got to tell you, when they do that whole thing about you know you, somebody else is bidding higher, somebody's bidding lower, if somebody's bidding higher. Will you do you want to bid higher? Yeah, I'll bid higher. You know, at, at it's emotion. Po- at some it, point, it, at some point, you got to tell them to go fuck themselves. Well, that's what you I know. did. You know, at you know. that, you know, I raised it two grand, and uh, but the the thing was, I said this place isn't worth this much. And uh, well, when and, I came and to get this place, it was yeah. listed at four at uh, at four thousand dollars a month. All yeah. right. And and you then they 42? yeah they said that somebody else was bidding on it. Do I? It's a blind bid, so if I want to bid. Go ahead and bid, and we'll tell you whether you got it or not. And we've said forty two hundred, and we got it, which makes yeah. me believe that there never was anybody else bidding. Uh, you know, there probably was. It's but just prove to me that there's somebody else bidding. They wouldn't even tell me what the other person paid. Uh, and but the the problem is, it's a buyer's market right now. Mm-hmm. But, you know, uh, what's uh, Deutsche Bank is saying that there's going to be a major recession. So maybe I'm better off not getting the place right now. Uh, you know how uh, there, it's right now it's a seller's market? Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? Every time there's a seller's market, eventually there's a buyer's market. Mm-hmm. And interest rates went up a half a point. Uh, and, and, Homes are starting to stay on the market a few more days, and they're not getting as many multiple offers. So I think that uh, the, maybe the tide will turn, mm-hmm. and next year I'll be able to get something. Well, Marjorie, you know, we've been thinking about maybe she should get rid of her apartment, you know. Uh, but we're still not sure of of the market right now yet, and whether yeah. it's not maybe it's the, not a good time to sell. Uh, but it might be a good time to sell. I we don't know. So I told her call your in, call your realtor and find out what they think. You know. Yeah. Well, get the comps. What you want to do is you find out what other units have sold for, and if you're happy with that kind of money and a little bit more, then uh, I just don't see the market staying this hot much longer. And uh, you know, people are always telling me, well, there's a, a lack of of uh, available properties you know there always seems to be somebody dying somebody getting divorced mm-hmm. uh, somebody uh, you know uh, having business problems and they have to sell their place yeah and uh, so that means that there will be available properties not you know and the interest rates are up uh, two points over or two and a half points over where they were a few months ago mm-hmm. and uh, so yeah, that's that's almost a doubling in the cost of the uh, of of the unit. They're upping the rent stabilization here in New yeah. York by like about two percent, I think. Yeah. Which means that on our five hundred dollars, we'd have to pay ten dollars more a month. It's a crime. <laughs> you know. I mean, uh, uh, you know, it probably won't stay that way for long. I mean, we'll probably get hit for you know. Yeah. You know, uh, well, but, if they go back to court, but you know, who knows? Maybe uh, if they know. go back to court, the court might look at the whole situation and go, "Sorry, you know, we're not changing it." Right. You know, the judge, because the judge had a reason for doing it, and part mm-hmm. of it was threats on part of the landlord towards the judge. Oh, so he was being punitive to the landlord? Well, I think he was. I don't know if he was being punitive to the landlord. But you take this to an appeals court, and they see that it's in it's in the decision. He says, right. in all fairness and for complete transparency, this is what went on. And then he explained that he'd been threatened by the landlord. Okay, um, and um, uh, so the minute the appeals court sees that, what do you think they're going to think? You know, yeah. are they going to be know. kind to the landlord? No, not that's not necessarily. Right. But, you know. Right. So. Well, you know, there there seems to be threats going on all over the place. I, I, you know, look, look at what they're doing to the Supreme Court justices now over this leaked Roe versus Wade. What are they doing? And where, and where did you get your news? Go ahead. Where, where, well, where? Uh, 
they, they're doxing the uh, Supreme Court justices, and there are protests at the Supreme what Court. What do you mean they're doxing? Account. What do you mean they're doxing? Do they released uh, their uh, home addresses and personal information. So? Well, uh, you know, uh, if somebody doesn't agree with what you say on, on this podcast or when mm -hmm. you were on the air, uh, do you want your address? I think I think that those the the justices. Well, we don't know yet. You know, I mean, the fact is that all this is is that the the draft has been released. Supposition. Supposedly, it came from Alito. Uh, the, the draft, but not the, the league. The draft. Draft. Uh, the, you know, it's and not that they're the draft is going to be the final thing. And who knows? Roberts might change his opinion just based on the fact that it was leaked. Well, uh, you know, um, uh, what's his name from Ohio, the guy you talked to on Saturdays? Uh, he'd be an interesting one to ask about this. But what they say is that opinions go back and forth. And one opinion could be, well, we want to strike down our, uh, Roe versus Wade. The, the other, another opinion could be, we don't want to strike down Roe versus Wade. And they didn't release more than one opinion. And, uh, and it's not a done deal. Uh, until they issue their uh, decision, and that was going to come, I thought, in July. July, yeah, June or July, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just think that um, the idea of the Supreme Court is that you couldn't fire these guys; they were uh, hired for life. Well, I, I think it's getting. So they couldn't I, be. Yeah. Uh, there could be no undue influence. I think that these people who are voting this way, to begin with, this is a. a, a a constitutional right that was given by the Supreme Court 50 years ago. It's been in force for 50 years, okay? Uh, it's, it's a right. It's not a constitutional right. No, it's not a constitutional right, but it was deemed to be constitutional. You're right. Okay? That's correct. All right. So, um, therefore, uh, they felt that it was embraced by the Constitution. Okay? Well, uh, the last uh, several justices that were appointed mm -hmm. um, uh, all said that they wouldn't overturn Roe versus Wade. Well, these so, guys, these guys, when they were in their, you know, giving out their de depositions or whatever that was, their, their interview, testimony yeah. To, yeah. to the committee, all said that they wouldn't do anything about Roe versus Wade. Right, exactly. So they were and, lying and, through their goddamn teeth. No, not necessarily. Yes, they you know, were. No, because these opinions uh, don't mean anything. They write them several different ways to see if they can examine the, the, the law from different perspectives. And what the, uh, what the deal is, mm -hmm. I believe that the Democrats are so in the dumper when it comes to this midterm election that they need a cause to get the base riled up. And oh yeah, so they better so, cause can they come oh, up with? Oh, oh yeah, so they invented this? No, they somebody leaks something. You don't know if it's true. You don't even know if that's the way. Wait, they wait no, vote. we do know it's true because Robert said it is true. Well, yes, but opinion, Robert said that was the act, a leak of the actual draft. Yes, a, 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 an opinion. No, the draft of the decision. Ah. Well, let's see. You know, I mean, I I don't feel abortion, late term abortion, is is right, and so. Well, if, listen, I I, you know, I might agree with you because I don't, uh, you know, I don't think that if a person hasn't made up their mind, say by the third trimester, uh, then they're never going to make their mind up, or they, you know, it's too late. Okay. I think that. Uh, I think the second trimester. I would. I would be happy if they agree, agreed that that you could. You know, uh, the second trimester abortions are okay. All right. Well, I don't know medically enough. And about I don't. It, you know, so. I don't really care. Less babies, less parking spaces. Okay. Yes, that's but, my theory. You know, then, then they need the less elite. kids crying in movies. You know, yeah. and less parents who don't know how to raise their goddamn kids. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, hey, we got, uh, you know, they're they're populating the country now. And, and all I'm saying, to... all I'm saying is to these assholes who are, uh, oh, oh, it's murder and it's this and it's that and it's horrible and it's terrible. Are you ready to adopt those children? Many are. No, they aren't. No, um, they aren't. Do you know why... Um, uh, 
you know, they. Do you know what they, certain companies are doing? You know what Amazon's doing, and I don't know. I think. Uh, what are they selling babies now? No, what they're saying is, if you live in a state and work for us, and you want an abortion, we'll fly you to California. Really? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, the killing capital. So uh, anyway, I'm I'm ready uh, to talk about something else. No, so. wait a minute. Let's let's yeah. let's keep going with this for a second. Okay. I just think that uh, it, it was it was something that's been law for fifty years, uh, maybe more, uh, and it is it it, it to suddenly change, turn it around and say that well that other Supreme Court was wrong. You usually should stick by stuff like that, you know. It, and now it's t time to get on to something else. Well, you're, the, you're the one that has said all along that the Constitution should be, uh, you know, looked at and, and revamped based on no, the No, 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 but, but, but here we're not talking, you just said, about the Constitution. We're talking about them determining whether it, the, the idea of abortion was embraced by the Constitution. Well, maybe it should be unconstitutional because you have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit who? of happiness. Who? Babies who, 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 if you were to rip them out of the womb in, say, the second trimester, would not be able to survive? They're not. It, until well, you, until that, you're a sentient being, I don't think that argument holds. That's, that's your opinion. I, I think that, you know. Oh, come uh, on, Phil. Hey, then did you call, ever? Did you ever? Hold on legs. a second. Did you ever get a woman pregnant you weren't married to? Yes. Uh huh. And what did you do? I went to the Green Eye Clinic and uh, paid for an abortion. All right. So shut the fuck up. All right. <laughs> but, you're, hey, not one, you're not one. You're not one to talk. This opinion. You're not one to talk. No, it was before I formed this opinion. Oh, I, mean, I see. When did you form this opinion? Last uh, Wednesday. No, when I had my second daughter. When you had, uh, well, why the first one you were willing to abort? No, no, the first <laughs> one we wanted. The second one was a surprise. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what uh, uh, Susan did was she, you know, went to the clinic and there was a protest, and she said, "Well, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go another day." So when she came back, uh, we just said, "You know, why don't why don't we just have her?" And so you know, mm -hmm. we had her, and even though she doesn't talk to me. Uh, well, that's she's because, that's, one, that's because she's a wonderful person yeah. and and a, and a and and a, and a good person. And I, you know, why doesn't she talk? A, why doesn't a shame? Why doesn't she talk to you? Although I can imagine why, but go ahead. Uh, I don't know. You know, she she's um, very opinionated and uh, wait, lefty. She, doesn't, she, she doesn't lefty? talk to anybody. Is she a lefty? She, she talks, huh? She a lefty? I don't know. Uh, she hasn't talked to me since she graduated high school. Really, and she, and she moved to Canada. Really, yeah, and uh, uh, you know she uh, she definitely marches to the beat of a different drummer. And she doesn't. She rarely talks to Susan. Susan has to walk on eggshells because if she says something not quite the way she like uh, the little one likes it, uh, mm -hmm. you know. It, now, how about the other daughter? You do you have a relationship with her? Yeah, sort of. What do you mean? Yeah, sort of. Now, how come? Uh, how come you, you know, don't seem to have good relationships with your uh, kids? Well, you know, I I didn't do a lot of bonding. Uh, I did a lot of things uh, like the police work and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. I wasn't really there for them. Mm -hmm. They didn't want me there either, you know. But uh, the mother uh, spent a lot of time with them, and I didn't spend a lot of time with them. I, they were girls. I didn't have a lot in common, and. Uh, so, I don't, and then the grandmother was, uh, you know, poisoning them. Uh, yeah. The grandmother has a lot of money. So, you know, the grandmother made sure that they didn't need me. So there was no, there was no, uh, no relationship built. Hmm. And then uh, I got divorced when they were uh, eight and, and 11. Oh, that's and, why they didn't talk to you. Yeah. Well, it wasn't, I didn't want the divorce. Uh, you know, I got kicked to the curb. Really? I, yeah. I can't imagine why. Well, she thought maybe she'd find somebody that would be nicer to her than me. Did she? You know? uh, no. No? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. uh, she's still uh, still single. Wow. Well. Yeah. But she's got my old house, which is worth a lot of money in a very nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I don't have it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I should have given her the business and taken the house. So what other things in the news do you want to talk about? Okay, Dave Chappelle. 
Yeah. Uh, the attack. Oh, for, by the way, for, I have a question. Trivia yeah. question. I got this. I did an interview with uh, with Bubs today, and he brought this yeah. up, and I didn't know this. Roe versus Wade, right? Mm -hmm. Who was Wade? Uh, I don't know. Come on, two people, uh, somebody suing somebody else. Who was? Uh, who who were they? Who was Wade? Oh, uh, I thought those were uh, not their real names. Well, let me put it. No, those were that. But Roe wasn't. Yeah. Wade was. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, question was is, that what? the father? No. Well, I, that would have been my guess. I'll give you a hint. Okay. Had Lee Harvey Oswald lived, he would have prosecuted him. Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Uh, no, you got me on this one. What, what's the What's the answer, Karnak? <laughs> mm -hmm. The answer to that question is, he was the district attorney of Dallas. I see. Yeah, okay, so, I didn't know that. Yeah. No reason to know it. I didn't it. know it was it, a it Dallas case either. It happened 50 years ago. Yeah. You know. But uh, anyway. So anyway, what what else? In the, oh, uh, Chappelle? Yeah, that's, um, yeah. yeah, that's like those uh, firearm cases in California are all uh, uh, this guy versus Becerra, because Becerra is the attorney general of California. I, yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. You know, they, uh, there was an attack on stage. His security. Gee, we uh, haven't heard about this. Well, it doesn't matter. In fact, I think we talked about it last night. But oh, you I, were too I, busy. That would you be were okay. If too I busy to at people. Photo Club. Yeah, I, that's exactly right. I had Photo Club. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, far left group is pressuring Twitter advertisers uh, because they don't uh, they don't want uh, advertisers to advertise on Twitter because they feel they're they're trying to pressure uh, Elon Musk. Well, they might not have to. Uh, how is that? Well, oh, because he may not get Twitter. He, he may not take advertising. Uh, well, they said that he plans on turning it probably into a subscription service. Well, uh, I read that he was going to charge a very slight charge to commercial and government uh, subscribers, but uh, not uh, not general public. Yeah, but we don't and, know yet whether that's even going to happen. So yeah, you know. Let's see. Oh. Romney says Trump will win nomination if he decides to run. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. What, what do you think about this stuff that, you know, a comedian goes up there and if somebody doesn't like what they're talking about, they run up on stage with a ersatz gun and a, and a knife. What do you think I'm going to think about it? Uh, I think think that that's one way to get the comedians cheaper because you got to tell them you got to pay for security <laughs> hmm. uh, yeah well uh, I guess uh, you know a good slap to a comedian is uh, you know makes a guy's day I guess I guess you know, what would happen to a guy like Bobby Slayton who um, forget initiates it, forget it forget it forget it you know Bobby uh, I mean I'm gonna have to call him soon and talk with him but um the last time I talked to him, he said he didn't think he was going to be working anymore. Yeah. You know, that it was going to be increasingly hard for him to do his act anywhere. I mean, Dave Chappelle is not changing his act one iota. Yeah. But, you know, uh, Chappelle is also bigger than Bobby Slayton and can yeah, take the assault. Yeah, well, Chappelle went after LGBTQ... R-M-S-N-L-P-Q-R-S-T-B-B... Plus. Plus. Yeah. Yeah. What is the plus for? I don't know. I don't know. Come on. G gay, straight, lesbian. If you want to go lesbian, well, I, bisexual, I'll give you that. But come on. Are we going to go on with transsexual? There, there's, uh, there's, uh, what, uh, there's other sexuals now. There's, in fact, if you carry that thing out, it's like, uh, it's like taking pi to the hundredth power you know yeah. i mean it just keeps going on and on, they and, will. on and on they will let's see uh, oh um uh, yellen finally says biden's spending has fueled inflation janet yellen uh from the fed where'd you read that huh where'd you read that uh it was uh, uh some business business magazine yeah yeah uh and they had a picture of her saying it uh Oh, 
uh, J.D. Vance, Ohio Republican, with Trump's uh, nom- uh, uh, endorsement, won the uh, Republican primary for uh, What do you Senate. expect from a hillbilly? Well, is he a hillbilly? Yeah, he wrote Hillbilly Elegy about his upbringing. Oh, well, then, then he fits right into Ohio. Hey, you know, talking about hillbillies, I was watching this uh, thing called the Whitakers. Now, no. the Whitakers. Excuse are me, these... I'm, I'm going to bring some people in here. Sure. Okay. You know what the Whitakers were? What? Uh, what? They were an uh, inbred family in the, in the uh, Appalachian Mountains. Wait a minute, inbred in Appalachia? Who would have thought? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. And, 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 you know, they, they can't even speak, they, they grunt. And there's this guy who takes pictures of them and he brings them to Walmart and things like that. Well, you know, maybe. Yeah. Are they from Ohio? Yes, uh, yes, Alan. So, what we learned in the past half hour is Phil doesn't know the real estate market at all. Yeah. First, oh, he right. said it was a buyer's market, the, uh, YouTube. which of course it's not. And then he said, you know, seven words later, it's a seller's market. He knows nothing about it. He, he just proved that he knows nothing about the Constitution or constitutional law. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't a very good father. And we we know that you think that you know everything about everything, but you oh. really know nothing about anything. Well, that's the last lunch you get out of him, Alan. <laughs> yes, that, right. yeah, yes, Charlie. He buys dinner. He buys dinner. And what are you talking about? Yes, Bill? Charlie. Uh, I have to disagree with Phil on the, that. There is no, there's nowhere in the Constitution does is abortion given as a right. Somebody should read the Thirteenth Amendment to Alito. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their their jurisdiction. And who are they enslaving? They're enslaving, they're enslaving and killing women. children. It's involuntary servitude. It's they're not. It, she, the woman spread her legs, let a man stick his penis in there, and ejaculate. Could you say that and a now, little? Could you say that a little slower? Excuse, oh, excuse and me. And now, I well, I, oh, yeah, no, I can sorry, say it that slow. That's not true. Yes, that's not true. They need to cross the their legs. Hey. Nobody's spreading their fucking legs. Look, all they got to do is they don't have sex. They just have oral copulation because we know that that's not sex. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do you get to say what anybody does with their body? Yeah, I do. Especially Why? when it when it's killing a life. It's not a life. It's a fucking fetus. Oh, so, or, hey, what, you remember, you you're alive? old, hold it, Charlie, you're old enough to remember what we used to call people in Vietnam. Uh, they called them zipper heads. They called I'm them goops. Now, now it's a fetus because it's okay to kill them. abortion before Roe v. Wade. I'm old enough to remember that. Well, you know, they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to do that. You know, well, it, it, they, well, you don't have to. They, you don't they have had to condoms. To call anybody's body. Wait a they minute. They had condoms long minute. before they had Roe v. Wade. Why can't I tell you what to do with your blood? Even if you fucking die, they can't take your blood without your permission. They don't want it. <laughs> but women, you're gonna force women to you make give up the use of their uterus. And you know how many women die in child? U.S. has the highest rate of maternal mortality of any developed country in the world. Oh we yeah, so talk now about women's lives, but you care about the goddamn. So now people. Bangladesh has got more advanced medical than we do. We talk, we care about the, the stupid fetus, but an actual woman, an actual life. Oh, she doesn't matter. Yeah, well, she made a choice, and Dude, that choice is choice resulting. Just like no, no, Charlie, choice. that choice. Wait a is minute, wait a minute, a Phil, life. Phil, Phil. Yeah. Are you hearing how sexist you are here? I, You're saying, I, wait a minute, no, no, it. wait a minute. All of your defense of this whole thing was, she did this, she did that, she did right? this, she did that. Have you ever heard oh, it takes two God. to tango? Yeah, and, you know, the, the male should be uh, involved in this too. But, right. you know, once once you create a life... Well, how does a guy, a how does a guy have to be involved in this? Once yeah, she's pregnant... A, wait a minute, a wait, wait a minute. hold on a second, Phil. Once she, yeah. leave, when, once, uh, 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 she gets pregnant... He can leave town. He's not pregnant. He isn't stuck with the baby. Yeah, but if she uh, goes after him, 
uh, no, child. No, if he leaves town and moves somewhere where she can't lay her hands on him or is in another jurisdiction, uh, forget they, it. They got ways of doing that. And by the way, who's got the money to sue him? Uh, well, you you, uh, you go after child child services. Kill the fucking guy that made her F pregnant. Phil, child Phil, services. Phil, you, what you're doing is you're saying it's all the woman's fault. That's no. really what you're saying no. here. Wait a minute. I'll answer your first question. How many child agree with me that that's welfare. what he said? Welfare you raise your hand, and please. Welfare ends up paying for the child, and welfare ends up going at, uh, and and going after these guys for the support. Oh yeah, they're really good at that, aren't they? Out. Aren't they good at that, Phil? Well, they, you know, I, hey, they, you like government services. I'm sure they're as good as uh, the the next guy. Phil, did you have sex before you got married? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you use a condom every time? No. Only then fuck the you, time. fuck you with your morality. You're it's so vacant. It's ridiculous. It's just a different time. This fuck is a different time. A different time. Hey, what was it? Yeah, Three o'clock. They, you know, what? now they take the pill. Or they take, they have an IUD, or there, there's lots of ways to to have contraceptive contraception rather than abort a child. And you know who is losing in this thing? Why did uh, why did uh, the um, uh, the you know uh, who's losing in all of this? Those backstreet abortionists who used to be have right, a no. business going for they, them they and they don't a anymore. Few black women are four times as likely to die in childbirth as white. No, let me tell you I something protecting black women what what is what is the uh the uh, planned parenthood planned parenthood uh was ba uh, was not only uh formed from by a racist it was formed it was formed by a racist yeah what what was her name uh the uh she yeah she was a racist and is that the woman Mar who was here Marjorie in the taylor green wasn't around then <laughs> No, no, no. The, the woman who started Planned Parenthood, I forgot her yeah, name. Yeah, uh, 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 she, uh, she was here in New York. Uh, was she? Yeah. Yes. Well, she, uh, she, and, uh, you know, the majority of uh, babies that are aborted are black. That is bullshit. Well, why don't you look into it? Because I'm telling you that's... If, the, if the majority are black, it's because the majority of the black women are choosing to get abortions. There was nobody out there forcing any women to get abortions. No, they're making it very easy for people to get abortions and therefore to kill uh, or stop uh, someone from their life and their right to liberty and so a one-day-old baby if that baby will die without your blood fuck the baby they're gonna just die unless you give permission but a day earlier the woman has no choice the baby well, the gets woman has survive. a choice she has a choice. She can Bullshit. cross her legs. I'm sick of that. Uh. That, that, that. God, you can't get more sexist than that. Hey, it's Women real. Cross their legs. The fucking God. Everything. Hey, you libs. Everything is sexist, racist. Well, you know, that is that's, sexist. that's that's the argument for that is anyone. That the guy go scot free. And and to raise your voice. That's that's the argument for I'm anyone sorry, that disagrees with, with your die. nonsensical position. Women are going to die. I'm sorry I raised my voice. I get, I'm getting upset about it. All right. Don't have a heart attack. Let me, let, me inter, let me interject here just a second. Last week when Phil was spreading his rumors and lies, he turned red. And he's turning red again. Uh, it, it, it's this, uh, it's oh, this yeah, lighting. Oh, yeah, sure it is. <laughs> well, at least I'm not turning orange. You got $10,000 worth of equipment sitting in front of you or more, yeah. and you're still red. Well, that's the way it goes. The woman you were thinking of was Margaret Sanger. That's it. Yeah. And she, and she was uh, a, a racist. No, she wasn't. No. In fact, I looked it up and it said there are a lot of rumors that she was, but it's not true. There's a lot of what that she was? Rumors. Rumors. Oh, rumors, yeah. Mm -hmm. But probably started by a lot of racists. Republicans, did you say? I'm sorry, Phil. I've got two daughters, and I don't want my daughters living in Gilead. Well, I have two daughters, too, and I want them to be happy, but I also uh, want them to respect life. And, uh, you know. You talk about respecting life. Who has less respect for life than Republicans who don't want to have food stamps, who don't want to have welfare, don't want to have child support? Well, it's very simple. 
because what you're doing is you're crippling people mm -hmm. by doing stuff for them. If people were to do yeah, what they need to do and pull up their bootstraps, uh, then, you know, what did Jesus say? If you give after a man fish, more. he'll have food for the day. If you teach him the fish, he'll have food for life. So if you don't after like fish. the baby's born, we don't give a fuck what happens to him. That's what you're saying. No, See, I give I give a damn, but I don't think that there should be multiple generations of welfare recipients. I'm buying drinks. <laughs> what happens if you don't like fish? What? Dave, you don't like fish. What do you tell Jesus? You got anything else? Uh, times are tough. I like steak myself. Yeah, you, can steak in here, but you go with eat the Romans. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I can always eat fetuses, you know. They're, 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 you know, nothing more than steak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, are we all through yelling at each other? Uh, I, I think so. Hey, you know. This is really the opposite of our Monday show. Right. Totally. I was just thinking the same. <laughs> yeah. how, much, how much digital social credit would we get? Uh, you know, they're, they're talking about. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You're credit. changing the topic. No, I'm, I'm tired no of, you're tired I'm of it because you're losing it. I'm not losing. Yes, I have a you, you are opinion. the most hypocritical I'm human being I, I have, have ever met. In my life. Let me finish, Phil. Okay. Turn my turn. Okay, I've I've shut up for the last five minutes while we listen to you yell at other people. Okay. Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Charlie's the yeller. Oh, Charlie very no. seldom yells. Charlie most of the time is very in 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 step with his feelings and puts them out very nicely and so on but you oh. enrage him good okay <laughs> the point is phil that you are a hypocrite of the worst kind because you admitted that you went out you had you know you had sex without condoms before you were married uh and maybe when you were married i don't know you know well it, it oh well uh, it, you know, it was it was legal it was legal and you could what, have what, what was legal abortion abortion yeah, yeah. It, it was legal when you were growing up no when i was getting you know when i was paying for them yeah but you had to go to some back alley abortionist no, or, or you parenthood it's 200 bucks That's oh, it, 200. oh 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 yes it once became legal yeah right 73 in other words yeah, yeah the, the uh the green eye clinic uh on bush street I, I was a regular. a regular. Is that the Green Eye Clinic or the Green Eye Clinic? Uh, well, I think it was called the Green Eye Clinic, but uh, that was the Planned Parenthood uh, clinic on uh, uh, up on Pacific Heights. For an extra six dollars, you get your eyes checked. No, nah, I don't think they did any eye checking. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes, Charlie. Uh, all I'm, I want to ask is that. If we're going to ignore the involuntary servitude part of the uh, 13th Amendment, why mm -hmm. don't we just ignore the, the uh, slavery part? Why don't we just bring back slavery? You know something? That's kind of I possible with, with, the, with, the, with the decision that the Supreme Court is about to make. There could be other ones like uh, outlawing gay marriage yeah. um, uh, and, and bringing back certain levels of slavery, allowing, you know, uh, literacy tests for uh, voting. Yeah. You know, you know may, maybe maybe they're going to just start killing Jews and putting them in concentration camps. You know, you guys come up with uh, all you know these, something. If Trump, if, if, if Trump and his people had their choice, they would go after the Jews. Yeah, you know, no, I'm telling you, Trump is more pro-Jew and pro-Israel. Oh no, he's he, no, no, he's not. Right. No, that's he's why not. In Charlottesville, he was saying there were good people going out there shouting. He about said him. that's not. You took it out of context. He said some of the people that were protesting. Well, let's were go pro into context, and it still sounds terrible. Well, right. he, he, if you pull it out of context and you make it sound mm -hmm. the way you want it to. What he said, there were there were good people on both sides. And one of the right. sides that was marching happened to be Nazis. Well, well I'm sorry. People, I'm sorry, but I never met no, a Nazi no, who was no. okay there, in my book. There was a lot of people who wanted the statues to remain and not <laughs> to be torn down. And that I, that's what he was talking about. He wasn't talking no, about Nazis. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. <laughs> No, he wasn't. Hey, are you, uh, Jeff, are you in a hotel room somewhere? Yes, I am. Where? Motel. In New York. New York? My son 
invited us to go out. Wait a minute, can you see me waving? No. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going no, I can. Close, but yeah. no cigar. Invited you to go out to dinner, but you had to pay for the hotel. Yeah. But they went to see uh, classical music. Nice. Because that's kind of what his specialty is. Mm -hmm. And um, and at the uh, same time, is we got to meet for the first time his new girlfriend. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, very nice. Very nice, huh? Okay. How old your son? Is he your son? You said thirty. Is your son? Yeah, he's that's thirty. Andrew, oh, okay. the young one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. thirty years old. Wow. Okay. How old's his girlfriend? Thirty. Oh, really? So they're both the same age. How nice. Yeah. Yeah, just about. Has he been married before? Uh, neither one of them. Neither one of them. So this is wow. very, very, very nice little uh, little things happening. Yeah, they seem to. Really like each other. Yeah. A lot. Well, that's yeah. a good thing, right? Has he paid for any abortions? Oh, oh so. <laughs> <laughs> never. Hopefully not. Yeah. Leave, it, leave it to Phil to take it into the toilet. Yeah. That's hey, didn't my, ask my buddy it. just sent me. He's on the cover of Country Music Insider. Who cares? Uh, they uh, indoctrinated him into the uh, Country Music Hall of Fame today. Good. So, yeah. Yeah. His name. Uh, Barry Mardit. Who? M A R D I T. He was in the radio business. He played mm -hmm. country music and they. Uh, he was a PD. Program director. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just thought maybe so, I've heard of him since I've been listening to country music for 30 years. Uh, no, he, he was behind the scenes. He yeah, worked yeah. for Disney for 16 years. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, you had your hand up? Yeah. Well, besides that kid, Andrew. Mm -hmm. I have two older kids. Mm -hmm. One's a lady and one's a, a man. Mm -hmm. And they both have two girls. Mm -hmm. So I have four granddaughters. Okay. Nice. And I think everybody has had this discussion in the last week. Really? Yes. And um, they didn't call Phil for his input right I, I thought i got a call but i didn't have time to answer i thought it was tony and so i hung up on him. yeah but <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing that uh uh, uh well, now what was the point we were making here i had a thought on it oh well i forgot that, that jeff's a good father and phil wasn't <laughs> yeah that, that that's for starters well you know you gotta bond with the kids well it sounds I, like he's done a good job of that you know, uh, yeah, he probably has. Hey, uh, so see, I he changed. You know how he changes the subject. You notice how he changes the subject. He's going to talk about somebody else that he knows that uh, recently uh, bought a sewer system. Oh. Yeah. Well, I guess you, that that was you. No. No. Hey, no. thirty-three billion for Ukraine, but ten percent for the big guy. He got ten percent of that. Who's ten? Who's the big guy? Biden. 10% for the big guy? Yeah, you know, that's that's the, the deal that Hunter Biden made with uh, all of his buddies. Oh, so, God. You know, you know uh, but hey, everybody billion is going to Ukraine and 10% goes to the big guy. Even if, it, even if that were true, none yeah. of that went to Joe Biden. Everybody had yeah. two drinks at the same time. Okay. And you know that Joe Biden, Joe Biden paid the legal bills for the China business uh, for Hunter, now, uh, and this was a leaked email. Where did you read all this? Where did you where'd, where'd you read all this? Uh, the emails that were. Where recovered. did you read all this? I read it online. Where? But, where? Uh, where? Where? On my phone. Uh, you know, all I had to do is I go to my phone and I can. Uh -huh. I can and, 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 and the Hollywood zine. That you I can speaking. unload news, or download news. But uh, aren't you familiar with the laptops that Hunter Biden dropped off to the blind guy? Yeah, in I New heard York? about that whole story. Okay, yes, yes. and yeah, yeah. Uh, now uh, New York Times has said that these laptops and the story is credible. So these these again, really? nothing to do with Joe Biden. Yes, yes they they directly <laughs> do. The, the, 
<laughs> the emails, the emails. Look, look, you want to say that Joe Biden is kind of a disappointment as a president? I'll be happy to agree with you on that one. Yep. But to, to whether he's been in any nefarious situations, I'm going to say that I honestly believe Joe Biden is a far more honest man than that. How about we talk about we'll something see. interesting, like the Johnny Depp thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Amber Heard, Johnny Depp. Now, Boy, are we jumping all over the place to not get <laughs> back to abortion? Oh, well, let's get back to abortion. You're the host. No, you're putting the, the R in ramble for damn sure. <laughs> Um, oh, I, yeah, the right wing are. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, I've been watching this Johnny Depp, uh, Amber Heard thing. Sorry. Are you tired of those guys? You know, are, are they just... Well, I understand. I understand that there's a decision that's going to be made soon, you know, by the, uh, by the jury. And the winner in this uh, gets a statuette. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, you know, because it's, it's two of the biggest acting jobs of the year. Yeah. That's right. And actually, she's a better actress than he's an actor. So you know. Well, he just sits there with his head down on the table, yeah, uh, exposing so, his ponytail. I would. You know. You're just lucky wait, 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 wait a minute. Let Tony here. talk. Tony hasn't said a word tonight, which is a blessing. But go ahead, Tony. Because it's not about my prostrate. But anyway. I, I like the movie director uh, Jim Jarmusch and I remember going the only time he made a movie with him was Dead Man and they didn't play in Queens so I had to go all the way to the city to see it he was horrible in the movie the only good thing about Dead he's Man he's never was, been a very good actor I was going to ask you was he a good actor no. I would actually like the soundtrack by Neil Young and Iggy Pop was in it no no I don't he think he was that good, good really, right? no he's, he, he's about equivalent to Ronald Reagan when he was in movies and that, that was the last movie that Robert Mitchell was in, Dead Man. I remember that's why I went to see it, too. That was about it. It was the last one. I, I, like, yeah. I like the way he makes movies, too, Jim Wooshy, how he films it. So. Yeah. That was like Johnny Depp. He was like, he was like Wood in that movie. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the Tim Burton stuff he's done, you know, has really been likable because of Tim Burton's Yeah, I was going to say, I'd go to see Walkers of Tim Burton. You know, I mean, Edward Scissorhands is, a, is, a, is, a, is an interesting, strange movie. And okay. Bobby Slayton was in it, right? No, really? he was not. Everybody have a drink. I was going to say. I thought he was in there. No. No, he was in Ed Wood. Ed Wood. Ed Wood. Okay, Ed Wood, Ed Wood. Ed Wood? Ed Wood? Ed, you, I saw that in the theaters. That's, uh, he won Best Actor. Uh, say actor. this, Phil. I was wrong. Okay, wrong movie. Uh, <laughs> but one guy was laying wood, and the other guy had scissors. You know, what can I tell you? <laughs> Actually, he wasn't bad in that movie, Johnny Depp. I thought, well, Landau stole the movie, his battle of hosts. Oh, I, I got to ask Charlie this. Mm -hmm. Do you think that uh, the, and Ch the Chinese forced organ harvesting is wrong, or is that okay, too, along with abortion? Oh, fuck. What do you mean forced organ? You mean after, after the person's dead? No, no. They're taking organs from living people, like the uh, Uyghurs. Yeah, exactly. The, for the same reason, I think you have no business telling a woman what she can do with her body. You can't take people's organs from their bodies. Yeah, but people they're... have to have autonomy over their own bodies. Yeah, you know, okay. So that he could he could buy another now, penis. Now that that the people the the that don't want to get a vaccination, or that are saying it's my body and I want autonomy over my body, that didn't count. Now that it's the women's right to choose, right? So, you know, your last week it was you got to get a vaccine and if you don't like it, you should, you know, you should eat shit and die. But now a woman fine. you don't want to take a vaccine, stay away from people because you yeah, can kill You don't want to get pregnant? No, you can kill somebody else. Nobody ever got Phil, killed. Phil, 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 you don't want to get pregnant, have your guy squeeze on his penis. Well, uh, you, you know, know, the FDA... Or hit it with a hammer. Oh, wow. Hit the it. FDA is saying that J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson... Wait a minute. See, he's changing the discussion no, again. No, no, no. He's it's, changing it's the, the discussion thing. again. First, uh, you asked using... a question about do you think you should harvest organs off of a right. live human being, which is a ridiculous question. Of course you shouldn't, you know. Right. 
Okay. So by your argument, the fact that you can force woman into ha having given By birth, the way, by the way, a fetus is not an organ, by the way. No, it's organs that belongs to another oh, uh, being. It, well, it, that haven't yet come to fruition. Hey, you, no, you, you hey, you don't you, you you don't want women to have an abortion after a certain time? Yank that baby out at two two months at two at this in the beginning of the second trimester and see if it can just survive there on the table. Well, you know, and if it uh, okay, can, so you take a three year old and push them into traffic and see if they can. Let's survive. consider abortion early delivery. Nah, well, that's your that's your choice. I, I consider it. And murder. if if the fetus that you pull out can it can still live and operate on its own, then you let it you let it survive. You well, know, that, that's your opinion. Hell, I'll be happy to adopt it. You know, yeah. what, what you, no one, a, a regular person cannot use that woman's body. Hey, a Alex, you'd be happy to adopt it. You don't even want to get a cat right now. <laughs> <laughs> and this adoption argument is bullshit because women still die in childbirth. You're going to force hey. some woman to carry a child to term and then they're, and then they're going to die while you're going to go to jail for murder then? I, I Anybody could die uh, having an operation or, uh, you know. Right. I mean, That's why you don't force people to have operations. They choose to have operations. Not necessarily. You're in a car accident, and uh, you know you're all banged up. They they put you under the knife. That's because you don't. You're not conscious enough to make a choice. A woman is not unconscious. She can make a choice. The ones that dated me were. <laughs> all I'm saying is, Phil, listen to yourself. You that know. was a clue, Phil. Listen to yourself, Phil. In all seriousness, you're telling a woman she knows how to cross her legs. It's not her job it's the job of the guy as well and but the but she has really if she gets pregnant he just has to say oh it's not mine or i'm leaving town or whatever well, she's still pregnant after he leaves town she has they, no choice she can't go out and get an abortion so she doesn't have to have the child and can have one at some future date when she really wants it well you know uh you end up loving the ones that you have uh, yeah, you know, really. Well, well, how's that going for you? Yeah, really. I love them. They just don't love me. <laughs> There's still time. Maybe you call her up. Maybe if you loved them a little more, they'd be nicer to you. And instead of looking for a house to buy, send them each ten thousand dollars. I exactly. believe me, I send. You know. Yeah. Hey, I just, I just donated uh, to. The new uh, somebody running for the DA in Contra Costa County. Why? Why? Because and she's a Democrat. Uh -oh. What? Why? Yeah. Why I, I, the I, why I know, but I'm going to let him explain the why. Why he's doing. Why it. is he doing it? Uh, no, you tell us, Alan. Yeah, go ahead. Got, because he's he's looking for a license to carry a concealed weapon, which he should have got. He earned uh, as a retired cop at Richmond PD. They're jerking him around because it was 15 or 20 years ago. And so now he's going through the sheriff. But you got to play politics and you got to look like you're pro this, that, and the other in the county, not just living there, mm -hmm. in order to get the, the license. I mean, yeah, I, well, that's part of it, but I also support her position. She's pro police. Oh, well, that's good. You know, be the first DA that that was pro police. Yeah, and uh, and I like the sheriff too. He's a good guy. Well, what is she pro police about? Uh, she prosecutes crime. When when a when police uh, uh, arrest uh, and the d DA decides to charge, she prosecutes them and she prosecutes murder. She doesn't return people back out into the street like they do in New York. Uh, or and, in San Francisco, and, or in San Francisco or Los Angeles, where they have all these progressive uh, district attorneys, and I think in uh, uh, in Charlie's neck of the woods, uh, was that Austin? Uh, uh, do you have a progressive district attorney that is uh, uh, that is not supporting bail, that supports no bail, and to put people right back out on the street? Yeah. I will. What's that got to do with anything? Well, that it rises, it raises crime, and uh, it, it makes it makes all. the it makes things unsafe for law-abiding citizens. Hmm. 
I don't feel unsafe in Austin. Well, you don't go out of your house. <laughs> I don't feel unsafe in New York. No, you don't go out of your house either. That's correct. Right. Uh, wouldn't you like to be able to? I would like to if more people wore masks. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, is doesn't a million dead people in America now seem to say something? You know, bandits wear masks. I mean, your guy oh, Trump said, sir, oh, your, your guy said this. Right. Doctors uh, wear masks, too. Yeah. Biggest bandits you ever two, met. Two years ago, Trump said, and maybe it was longer than two years ago, he said, oh, this whole COVID thing will be over with within a couple of months. Within two weeks. It's okay. now, within two weeks. Right. And right. now, and now we, hit our, we hit our one millionth death. It has been said that Trump was being fed misinformation when uh, at the beginning of COVID to make him look bad. No, he was spreading he misinformation. Well, he, knew. he was being told. He by was Fauci. spreading. He was spreading misinformation. Uh, and so he, he was, was given Bob Woodward. He knew a little facts about how bad COVID was. Back yeah, well, in January. It, Trump was being Republican given. Move, was, blame was, somebody else. No, Trump was being given was being given misinformation uh, by others in order to make him look bad. So, it, it, and then a couple months went by, and then he started using his own head. And the two brain cells started working, and he spread and he spread his own misinformation. Well, uh, he was probably months. right. The reason you people know? were dying in this country is because he wasn't telling him to wear masks, and he right. wasn't putting out mask mandates. Okay. And uh, Biden, is, you know, what? Biden is telling people to wear a mask. Absolutely. And Biden is telling people to get uh, vaccinated. vaccinated. Absolutely. But how come there's just as many, if not more, in the same period of time of deaths under mm -hmm. Biden as there was? These are all people that don't wear masks and don't. No, no, you can't tell me that it's a million people that don't wear masks. But of by the way, a million people, I guarantee you, over ninety percent of those people were not vaccinated. Absolutely, they didn't have a vaccine when Trump was president until his last days. Right. Yeah, you know, well, you know, you know, if you want to, if you want to get technical, Phil, the first, the Wuhan, is what it's called, the Wuhan uh, COVID. Before they came up with Alpha, Beta, Charlie, and all that, oh, that stuff but was was very um, deadly to people, but not as deadly as Delta. And Delta came along under Biden. Okay, and look at Omicron; it came along under. And, and they both came from out of the country, so you can't blame Trump or Biden for it. And that's why the death rate's so much higher. And Charlie's right. Most of the people that are dying, now that the vaccine's out, most of the people that are getting sick and dying are the unvaccinated. Yeah, well... Those I'm are the sure. facts. Follow science. Well, I did. See this? I took a, a, a test today. A COVID test. I don't advertise that. You can't advertise on the station. Well, it's not an advertisement. This was a free test, I think. But oh, um, that's why you used it. It's it's on the C. Now you would think that the C was for COVID, and but the T is for COVID. The C is for uh, the the basic test. Do you know what it here. stands for? The C. No. It's control. Control. You know right. A bit about yeah, it's a control, and so it tells you that you have enough liquid and something in the liquid that the test will be valid okay well i got a c yeah, that's good. i okay. got the c well that's good okay. so the test was right and then the other line if you if that shows up even faintly you've got covid no well i don't have covid good no. i'm happy two customers this week said that they were exposed to somebody with covid and so i figured all right i'd wait a couple of days and then i'd test Five days, no symptoms, is Nothing. when you're supposed to test. Right now, that's the what they're saying. Five days with no symptoms is when you're yeah, supposed to you test. Yeah, no symptoms. You wait five days and test. Well, it's just, it's good. I did. Yeah, sure. Did you wait five days? No. Yeah, uh, the first oh. exposure, yes. Uh, the you're person. vaccinated and double boosted, and so your chance of getting really sick and even more of dying or being hospitalized is very small well based on uh based on this i don't think COVID exists really yeah i'm not sick 
Now he's starting to sound like Trump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, no, I'm sounding like Jack Bishop. Well. Yeah, Jack wouldn't say that. No. Jack's joining us. Apparently something was being said that bothered him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, two things bothered me. Mm -hmm. One, have you ever noticed how cops always think the solution, or ex-cops think the solution is locking people up? Yes. You notice that? And sooner or later, those people are coming home. You can't stop it unless you make it life sentences for every damn crime in America. You see this? Yeah, I see it. Nash <laughs> Neighborhood Restorative Justice Partnership. I am part of a group in the DA's office. Yes. That, you told that us is about it three weeks helping ago. people stay out of jail. That's and the way you do that is providing income for people not to go to jail. And, you know, people most, go to jail in this country get... because they're trying to be part of the American capitalist system. Well, well, wait you a minute. know that, and I know that too. That, don't lie about it. Most people that get something for nothing. Well, it's still the opposite of one day. Don't appreciate it. It doesn't matter whether they appreciate it, not just whether or not you put money in their damn pocket so they don't have to break it and steal grandma's TV set. But they'll do that anyway. No, yeah. they won't. No, they won't. The price of drugs will go up. Hey, yeah. we make drugs legal in this country, have the government tax it, have them sell it like they're supposed to goddamn do anyway. Uh, so they'll charge $6 a gallon for it. So? Just for regular. We, we do that for gasoline, don't we? Right. Yeah. Do you see people stealing a lot of gasoline? Yes. People okay. are puncturing the bottom of gas tanks and siphoning out people. And, be, and that's because this country is a bunch of wusses and the government won't nationalize these oil companies. That, that, it's because those people are thieves. Well, hey, hey, then have them show the criminals how to be better criminals and make money doing well, it. Well, if they go to no. jail, that's where they learn how no, to do have it. No, have them running the classes out here before they go to jail. In show Richmond, them. they were paying they were paying thieves $1,000 a month not to steal. And what did they have them doing instead? How about they being policemen? They gave them $1,000 a month. How about, how about being policemen and, and, and patrolling their own streets like God intended? Listen, hold on just a second, because you're the second black guy tonight who's gotten red in the face. Okay. Right. I uh, thought I was or, red. Or, or, yeah. I did uh, that but, all the time. Uh, yeah, but, but both of you are in a risk group for high hypertension, okay? Yep. So I want you to calm down because I don't want you to like, you know, suddenly collapse hey, pal, from apoplexy. Of all the things that are wrong with me, and I got a myriad of them, having hypertension is one of the things I don't have. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, great. But you want it. Hey, <laughs> rather to burn up than to rust out. That's how I <laughs> Uh, hypertension is that high blood? No, it's got to do with the heart and yes, uh, high, uh, blood. hypertension is high blood pressure. Yeah. So. Yes. but even when I had pro heart problems, and hypotension had... is low blood pressure, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah, even when I had heart issues, never had high blood pressure. That was one of the things that threw off the cardiologist that I saw six weeks before I had the heart surgery. Mm -hmm. I passed a heart stress test something that the guy said I shouldn't have been able to do, but I was able to do it because of the way they do the tests. And as you know, as I'm sure uh, Alan knows, one of the tests is they inject you okay. with a dye and they see how the heart is pumping. Right. Well, my heart was pumping seemingly normally, but it just wasn't moving a lot of blood because um, I had closed up arteries. So the heart scan that you're talking about would have detected that, Jack. I it don't didn't. It, it didn't detect it. I'm, well, okay. I'm sorry. Well, that well then again, then again, you're doing your medicine in Texas, so you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I got. That's why I got angioplasties because then they 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 send this wire up there with a camera and they're able to figure out. Uh, if you got blockages, they really can't. I, do it. I, 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 angioplasty. I, 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 I got a hold of Angio the other day to fix some of my plumbing. Yeah. Oh, that was Angio's <laughs> list. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, I didn't get the angioplasty till I was in the hospital and about three days before I had the bypasses. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I was able, I got three angioplasties. And uh, 
one of them, uh, they gave me the angioplasty, and then as they were doing it, they discovered that I had another artery that was 100% blocked. Boy, is this getting to be another show that young people would want to listen to? Rand Paul did all three of them, right? Yeah, and uh, you know, but hey, Alan, <laughs> you don't have to worry about high blood pressure. You don't have any blood pressure, but uh, no, I give everybody else high blood pressure. Yeah, that's what my wife said about me. Actually, I take high blood pressure medicine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not t terribly off the off the grid, but my doctor felt it would be good for me to take it. Yeah. Hey, I want to ask Phil and Alan something. We have. You don't want to ask me anything? No, nah. well, I feel left out. It's my show. <laughs> I feel left out. Go uh, ahead. Uh, yeah. Do you know that currently, we have in our prison system more people than any other country in the world? Yes. And still, we got the. Yeah, we got a million plus people. You know why? Is there Tell a why. question in here? Uh, other countries kill them first. Oh, bullshit, Phil. That's, a, that's, a, 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 that's wait, another. Wait, wait. That, that's Jack, another Republican escape tactic. Jack, you oh. said you wanted to ask a question. You made here's a the question. You didn't here's ask the, a all right. Question. Here's the question. <laughs> why don't these other countries have the same problem? How come they don't have it in Germany? How come they don't have it in France or England or Australia? Or France, or Spain, or Portugal, or China. Or they China. don't have the population. How about Australia? China's it was a, and it was. Really how about Australia? And at one time, it was a prison colony. Yeah. yeah. So the whole place is a prison. No, we people... we we create a system that creates criminals. I think. Yeah. Well, you know, I knew a guy who had spent. I I met him when he was like forty something, and he had spent already half of his life in prison. Nice guy, huh? Good guy. Turned oh. out to be a very oh, yeah, good man. Sure. Upstanding citizen. Yeah, yeah, just a pillar well, of the community. It depends he got on what you can see. He a candy <laughs> bar in Texas, <laughs> and he went to prison for life. That that was, hey, hey, listen, I knew a guy right after I got here who went to life for one joint. Yep. Went to jail for life for one joint. For and life. he wasn't, for life. And he wasn't some black guy with no job. He was a locally known journalist. And he got life for one joint? Yeah, life for one, one joint one. in yeah. Dallas County. I don't know. And, and the articles that he used to write. Well, sure. Yeah, because, hey, the powers that be didn't like the fact that he told Hey, me listen, to. I, got out of, I got out of Houston just ahead of the cops who were planning on planting pot on me because I, had, uh, I was within a couple of days of running a story on my show about how the local police department in Houston, Texas, was running Ku Klux Klan meetings on Tuesday. Well, that's probably okay. true. Okay, and when I found that out, and they found out that I found that out, they were planning on planting pot on me. I got the story from somebody. I got out of town about a day before they were gonna plant it on me. And that was confirmed by a guy that Alex worked with that he and I both knew. Mm -hmm told me about it after Alex had left town. Well, did he really? I didn't know that. Jerry Thomas used to follow you. Yeah. On the, we were doing the evening show. Where, and where he did he me. find out? He found out from some cop buddies of his. Yeah. But it wow. wasn't it normal to have uh, Ku Klux Klan parties just like Kiwanis meetings and, you know... Uh, Why you know it, oh, not at the fucking police department. Please. Yeah. yeah. But Alex, wouldn't they have had to have the... A meeting on a Saturday? Why have it no. during the Why? The Ku Klux Klan are Jews? What? <laughs> oh, I think everybody has to work the next day, Saturday. Yeah. If this was my show, Tony, I'd ring the bell for you for that one. That's how stupid they are. What happened on a Tuesday? Everybody's got to go to work the next day. <laughs> uh, uh, repressionistic forces love the police departments because I have yet to meet only one cop that didn't have a certain authoritarian quality about it. Well, I am experimenting with learning uh, if restorative justice is a better way to go. Uh, when offered the opportunity to do what I'm doing, I figured, hey, the justice system isn't really working, and uh, incarceration may not be the way to go. Are and you studying what they're doing in other countries? Uh, well, they're doing it in other, do other counties, other but... Well, uh, I'm, I'm just asking, are you studying what they do in other countries? No. Why not? 
Uh, it wasn't part of the training. Well, you may, maybe you well, part of that. part of our problem is is that in the case of uh, prisons and so on, what do we call them? We call them uh, correctional institutions, but they don't correct anything. They just uh, throw I, somebody I, I in there and throw away the key. There's there's yeah. no, you know there's no correctional process going so, on. Some yeah. people aren't savable. You know but then there, again, there are you, some you that are. Phil, almost everybody, unless they have a really bad mental problem, okay, are savable. The and problem is, the problem problem is we put them on the edges of society. You know, if they have a bad mental problem, then they probably get hired by the police department to be police officers. Well, that's a different kind and, of... And certainly well, they'd they call Jack's a, show. And certainly <laughs> they'd be hired by a police department in some sections of Texas. Luckily, Houston and Dallas aren't as bad as they used to be. Unfortunately, you don't live Houston there, right? used to be terrible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. as witnessed by, well, Jack uh, agreeing with the story I told, because he had corroboration on it, you know. And it wasn't corroboration I went and asked anybody about. How come? What did you say? I'm going to let Jack finish what he was saying. What? This wasn't corroboration that I asked anybody about. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who came to me and said, I know you're a friend of Bennett's, and I know you've known him for a long time. I want to tell you what the police were getting ready to do. Yeah. And we I, weren't at the same radio station. We right. were at competing stations. I, I wonder why. No, in those days we weren't at competing stations. Well, that's true. Because you were at a black station. Well, I always contended <laughs> anytime you played an Aretha Franklin record on a top 40 station, you were competing with me at that time. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, how come they they were after you in Houston, they were after you in Miami, what, what is the correlation here that the police are always after Alex Bennett? They were assholes. Uh, Florida was, that was the worst what happened to me in, in, yeah, in, now, uh, in Florida. Now, did you get pulled over in Golden Isle or? No, or no, it was on the, on the causeway. Uh, yeah. Uh, Which we ran over an alligator Huh? 163rd Street Causeway, which causeway? I can't remember which one it was now. It was the one with the radio station was right off of it to the side. It was actually built into the causeway. Really? Yeah, yeah. Bill, I guarantee you, if you spent a couple of years living in the part of the country that I live in, and have lived most of my adult life in. You mean free Texas? No, and Southern Miami America. Free, home of the brave? Southern America. Yeah. You'd have a, perhaps a completely different attitude about the police. I, I lived in South Florida for uh, oh. a year and a half. I don't think he's going to change his attitude. He was a cop for over 20 years. You know, it's just like me. I don't think living in Texas would make me think different about being police, a police officer. If it wasn't for the weather there, I'd love to live there. No, you wouldn't, because the weather here, the only reason I live here is I'm too lazy to get out. But I'm planning on doing that here pretty soon. But I was there in a ja January of one year. And it was so cold, you'd freeze your balls Can off. I say something here? You know, I got to tell you that if I were younger right now, I'd leave this country because this country is in a lot of trouble, morally. Alex, I, morally. Said that the, I said that the other night. I've been thinking that now for a couple of years. Yeah, All but we're getting a little too old time. to do it, you know? I mean, what do I do? I go somewhere else, I got to start a whole new life, and I'm not young enough to start it, you know? Well, but you're young enough to end it there. Well, well, you know, I mean, I, uh, uh, quite frankly, I'm fed up with this country. I'm fed up with the morality of it. I mean, this latest thing with the Supreme Court just makes me see that the future of this country is bleak. So just divided. bleak. And wait till the economy goes in the Forget dumper. about being divided. America is asked, becoming asked, exactly what it wants to be, and that's a nation of, of racist, uh, 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 opinionated people who can't see that other people have a right to live as well. You know, I mean, yeah, it's just getting ugly. It's just getting too ugly. And now you see, now you're getting back to that. Forget yeah. about that. And Phil, I mean, when has this country not been divided? It's always been divided. Well, between right the half. Now, yeah, that's true. It, it, it always has been divided. Look at what happened in the Civil War. Uh, th yes, this country has always been divided. Hey, I want to say this, and it's going to piss a lot of people off. I know what you're going to say, and it's the same thing I've been saying for years. Go ahead. Well, say it again, Alex. Can I get you when, to when, testify? When those, when those people wanted to secede from the Union, we should have let them. 
Should have said, don't let the doorknob hit you where the oh, Lord Oh, no, no, you. that's not what Jack was going to say. Jack was going to say McDonald's hamburgers are on sale. No, what were you going to say, Jack? Was that what you were going to say? I was going to say, you know, that in its entirety. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, I would have just said, uh, you know, uh, why fight a war over this? Just go ahead. Goodbye. You know? There, there, was, there was some other reasons uh, that, that they fought the war. Uh, I guess economically it made sense to... It made uh, sense only for the North. Yeah. Didn't make sense for the South. Well, that's the division. Well, yeah. that's one of the divisions. I mean, the, the South... Your economy the, the, is based upon stealing the labor and lives of people. That doesn't count. Why? Do you believe slavery was okay, Phil? No, of course not. Gee, well, there were, I, people, I, there were I, people that did. I go... Uh, you know, there's an essay by Emerson called Compensation. And it's something I live my life by that... I believe that people need to be compensated for their work to have self-worth. And I support that in, in every way, shape, and form. And so I pay, uh, whether people want to get paid or not, I still pay because I believe that that's uh, an, an inalienable right. So uh, Phil, does that mean that you're for um, restitution to black America for 400 years of not no. getting paid? And I'll tell you why. Tell me why. Because you can't have restitution for one group and not another. All there's right. No restitution for the Japanese. There's no restitution. Wait a minute. For Jews. That's not true. They gave. They they did for the Japanese. Really? Because Maybe. they actually took their homes in in the, in the last generation. Yeah. Well, but, you well, know, the thing is, and hey, hey, who, look, who, I, who I, you, I could have been home in Uganda running me a goddamn country right. rather who, than who be is here. who are they taking restitution for? Did did I? Was I a Dutch trader that took uh, uh, slaves from Africa? If you take a look and brought them over if, here, if you take a look at the corporations that still exist that made money off of the slave trade. You'd be shocked. You know, it's I'll a start with Chase Manhattan Bank. Yeah, it's it, it's a funny thing you mentioned that. I was listening to um, uh, Ber the guy from Berkshire Hathaway, uh, Warren Buffett. Mm -hmm. and, and he was and he said he read off a list of companies that were the movers and shakers 30 years ago IBM uh, a number of other companies where are they now where the, the top companies are Apple with two trillion dollars I believe in in, in value uh, you know so if you look at the top 30 companies today and you look at the top 30 companies 20 30 years ago they're nowhere to be found well, and, well, maybe those that are still around, even if they're not in the top thirty, ought to pony up the money they owe. Well, they're also well, because they're old. They're old line companies that had products that are kind of anachronistic now. Yeah. You know, that's the reason why, Phil. And it, <laughs> and, and the day is going to come, or one day you're going to think, did you think Apple would ever go out of business? Exactly. You know, and it, that's it, that's yeah. what Buffett was saying, is that you know what you think is unsinkable now, things change. And uh, you know, I, it was very interesting. I love watching uh, Buffett and that and his partner uh, Charlie Munger. Uh, these guys are brilliant. And uh, you know, when you when you sit back and, and listen to the the knowledge. What did they, I see yesterday? They lost something like two hundred thirty five thousand million dollars. Who's that? Oh, Berkshire Hathaway. Yeah. Drop in the bucket. Uh, two hundred. No, excuse me. Two hundred. Two hundred thirty thousand dollars a share. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because it's a prop in the bucket. Well, it's a very high. Thing. Yeah, very, very deep bucket, Alex. Very, very deep, deep bucket. <laughs> hey, there's our theme song. Jack better get his ass moving yeah, here. Jack is getting his ass moving. Would you care to tell him you're going to be on next with the intersection? Right after the top of the hour. That's Just right. Enjoy us. Hey, Tony Magno, you call in. And we'll talk about your prop. Yeah, we'll, yeah. No, yeah. no, we won't talk. We'll talk about that food he likes that he gets on the weekend. That his mother said, "Don't use that word again." He likes yodels. Does he like yodels? Yodels. yodels? I want to see Yankee Doodles today, Alex. Oh. A Yankee Doodles. They were on sale for three dollars. He's a real American. Wow, they were on sale for three dollars. Yodels for three dollars. Can you imagine how much were they like forty years ago? Forty those cents. Were made, those were made forty years ago. 
put all the preserves. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> still in anyway, the thank you very much, uh, Jack, for being with us. Also, uh, thanks to Phil. Phil uh, started off the show. And, uh, hey, so I, I like giving people high blood pressure. And, and people love having you here. The numbers have gone lower than they ever have the, this in the last well, couple great. of weeks here. Uh, and uh, also, thanks to, uh, to Alan for being here. Thank you, Alan. We appreciate it. Uh, Charlie, always a pleasure. Always great. Jeff, always good to see you here. And, of course, Tony, you didn't get to talk much, but... Uh, uh, we think the world of you and uh, and and your prostate. Anyway, we'll... Uh, huh? I think I should make this I don't check. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Uh, everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. They're gone for the night. But they'll be back again tomorrow night. They'll be here at 10.30. Uh, daylight... Uh, oh, gee, Eastern... Daylight Savings Time. Same time. Same Daylight Savings Time. Same station. Uh, and, uh, you know, as always, if you see her, please do me a favor and tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.